Here we go. James Webb. Thumbs up from Jean Luc Voyer. All systems are go. We're inside. James Webb Space Telescope. Let's go. 50 seconds. Now the Vulcan 2 engine will ignite. 452,000 people watching. Christmas Day launch. The command will be issued to ignite the Let's get this. 40 seconds. Space Telescope will be on its way. Oh my god, this is amazing. Go, go, go. 30 seconds. 30, 30 seconds. Let's get it. Oh my god, I'm shaking so much. 20. By for terminal count. This is such a big event. 14 years delay. This. Two, one, ignition, seven seconds on the pad and then she goes, and we have engine, start. engine start, SRB's up and running, and away she goes. Decollage, lift off from a tropical rainforest to the edge of time itself, James Webb begins a voyage back to the birth of the universe. Oh my god, go baby go. clouds, 20 seconds into the flight. Good pitch program reported. Oh my damn. Vehicle performance is nominal. Yes. Through the clouds. The Ariane 5 rocket continues uh, to fly uphill in nominal fashion. Oh my god. The rubble of the powerful Ariane 5 now being felt here in the control center. There's the telemetry data. Animation. We got, she Holy shit, she's 13 kilometers up already. Yeah. Impressive. 13 kilometers in altitude, 7 kilometers down range. Traveling uh, about uh, 0. 0.6 kilometers per second. Oh, it is 20 kilometers. Holy Christ. The trajectory reported to be nominal by Jean-Luc Voyer, the uh, range operations manager. Half a million the people watching. Screen, the yellow line Damn. is the trajectory plot, perfectly overlaid over the green line, which was the pre-launch trajectory. One minute, 41 seconds into the flight, about 40 seconds away from shutdown of the solid rocket boosters. Which is about 40 kilometers up. Oh my god. Coming up on the two minute mark into the flight. James Webb is off the face of the earth at last. When it detects the threshold of acceleration, the dis not the deceleration, but... Expected uh, separation coming up shortly. Less acceleration. Did you permit a normal? SRB oh, set. Oh, everything is okay. Everything is normal. Two minutes, 15 seconds into the flight. When the computer detects this Expected set. Threshold, it will separate. Separation. Separation des UAP. Done. We have confirmation of solid rocket booster separation from Jean-Luc Voyer. This coming at an altitude of 44 miles. The Ariane 5 and James Webb traveling almost 5,000 miles an hour. We have about Two 1 minute 5 seconds. seconds to go before fairing jettison. That'll be the next critical milestone. Fairing jettison coming shortly. The fairing is there to avoid the satellite being exposed to high temperatures and also high... 100 kilometers into space. Leaves the atmosphere James as Webb is officially the case, in space. The satellite does not need anymore to be protected, and, t and Webb does not need anymore to be but protected. Also normal. So each kilogram being very important for the performance of the launch, we are going to eject this no more useful fairing. And let's go down to the floor uh, in the Jupiter Control Center to Raphael Chevrier of Ariane Space. Raphael, so far so good. Hi, Rob. So far, so good. Everything fairing is sir. as uh, we say. The expected fairing, sir. Anyway, the Ariane 5 is going perfectly well, as you can see also on the yellow line okay, on the screen. We had the confirmation of the uh, separation of the two sweet boosters and now of good, the good. Fairing, meaning that we have crossed the limits of the atmosphere. So everything is going to be normal. 
and the DU just said that all parameters are going perfectly, perfectly smoothly. Oh, is that so it? Look at that. JWST in the flash. Uh, this is a view uh, from the upper stage camera called the Vicky Cam. Looking back at the James Webb oh Space Telescope. Oh my god, that's this sick. This is on about a 20 second delay or so because the way the imagery is processed uh, uh, here exposed. in the control room. Look at that. There's your telescope ready to unfurl uh, its uh, wings basically. You can see slight vibrations on it as well, that's crazy. Uh, it's uh, journey to a, the Lagrange point, the L2 the Lagrange point, two. about a million miles away from Earth. The trajectory is nominal. Trajectory is nominal, the report from Jean-Luc Voyer. The liftoff time confirmed here in the Mission Control Center at 12.20 Greenwich Mean Time, 9.20 a.m. Peru Time, 7.20 a.m. Eastern Time. The Ariane 5 and James Webb, 181 uh, kilometers three, in altitude. Three kilometers per second. 400, the 50 kilometers downrange from the launch site here in Kourou. Flight control is very smooth. Keep us 5 minutes and 13 minutes, seconds. 12 seconds into the flight. We have about uh, three and a half minutes to go in uh, main stage or first stage uh, performance. And again, you can see at the bottom of your screen the uh, yellow uh, plot line overlaid over the green line, meaning uh, we are right on course, right down the pike, and a perfect trajectory so far. 200 kilometer the altitude. Ariane 5 rocket. Telemetry data are now received by the Galio tracking station, which is which is close to here, where we are in Kourou. It will track the launcher to the ignition of its upper stage, and then we'll, we'll have Six the minutes. data station in Brazil. Ascension in the, as you can see on the map, in the middle of the ocean. We'll make sure she gets her nominal orbital insertion. In Libreville and Malindi, one on the east coast, the other one on the west coast. And the one on the west coast, Malindi, you can see that the satellite will be, the telescope will be separated more, over, more or less over this Malindi station. And this Malindi station will also collect the telemetry data from the telescope. You can see both are green, Galio and data on this animation. It means they are expected to receive the data, and it was confirmed right now by the launch operations manager. Addition of the measure by the station of Natal to Brazil. And just confirming now that telemetry is being processed uh, through the Brazilian tracking station. The telescope is also uh, processing telemetry through the tracking and data relay satellite system as it uh, moves further and further out into deep space. All of the telescope's uh, telemetry and its imagery, ultimately, will be processed through the Deep Space Network in Goldstone, California. We passed the seven-minute mark into the flight. A perfect ride to, so far on the Ariane 5. We have about uh, one and a half minutes to go in the first stage performance. Once uh, the main stage uh, engine is second. commanded to cut off, it will be uh, jettisoned, kilometers down and just a few seconds after that, the upper stage engine will, will ignite, and it uh, will be the workhorse for a 16-minute burn that will put uh, James Webb into its preliminary orbit. About 11 minutes from now, uh, telescope controllers at uh, the Space Telescope Science Institute will be sending commands to prepare James Webb for the initial uh, series of Eight commissioning minutes. activities uh, that will lead to, to the deployment of its solar Two array and uh, the initiation of generation of power for the telescope. About 30 seconds away from main engine cutoff, The trajectory is normal. Nominal trajectory continues uh, to be the watchword Six and a half for the day from second. the range operations manager, Jean-Luc Voyer, as we stand by for main engine shutdown and separation. About seven kilometers per second. 
First stage set. Second stage ignition is coming up shortly. There it is. Coming up on T plus nine minutes into flight. And we have main stage shutdown and separation confirmed here on the mission control center and the ignition of that first stage. And Raphael Chevrier down uh, in the fishbowl. Uh, so far, so good. Yes, Rob, we have the confirmation of the separation it's seven of the main stage per and the ignition of the upper stage. The trajectory is perfectly nominal. This is a very important moment for us because it's always a, uh, a challenge to switch on a cryogenic engine in space condition, and we are now at 220 kilometers of altitude. Speed is a bit more than 7 kilometers per second. As we enter now the second stage of uh, the second uh, phase uh, of uh, the flight, the upper stage is going to power for about, for about 16 minutes to place wave on its transfer orbit, and right now everything is again nominal as the DDO just said. And a short time from now, uh, the uh, so-called sawtooth maneuver uh, will get underway. The, again, uh, like rocking a baby in a cradle, this will be a maneuver to keep Webb's optics protected from overheating loose.